Radical film, dude! <laughs> hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most underrated 80s teen movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That means we're looking at movies that are directed at teens that were considered like totally lame when they were first released. Let's get to the list. See, I tried to buy my way in. But Kenneth, he's not trying to buy anybody. He's just trying to make friends. Number 10, Once Bitten. And the winner of the best costume contest is Mark Kendall as a vampire. <laughs> Teen flicks with vampires were around long before Edward and Bella, and one underappreciated gem in the genre is 1985's Once Bitten. This horror comedy centers on a high school teen who, in his quest to lose his virginity, becomes the focus of a 400-year-old vampire who must drink the blood of a virgin three times before Halloween. One catch, each bite takes him one step closer to becoming a vampire himself. This dark and funny film barely broke $10 million at the box office and received poor critical reviews, but it's totally worth seeing. It's campy, it's filled with 80s cheese, and it served as Jim Carrey's first starring role, making it the perfect choice for the number 10 slot on our list. Please don't bite my buttons. Number 9. Morgan Stewart's Coming Home Okay, let's do it. Who could forget the lovable ducky from Pretty in Pink? And while that movie won over critics and audiences alike, John Cryer's next flick went almost unnoticed. Morgan Stewart is your typical rebellious 80s teen who returns home from boarding school to shake up his parents' lives. With over-the-top antics, outlandish pranks, and Cryer's babyface and geeky charm, this neglected comedy is too fun to pass up. While the flick may have received its fair share of negative criticism and barely registered upon theatrical release, the slapstick humor and zany fun is more than worth the watch. Number 8. Hiding Out Okay, go make some money. You'll feel better, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. John Cryer makes his second appearance on this list with this teen crime comedy. This time he plays a stockbroker on the run from the mob who must go into hiding. And what better or worse place than a high school? The movie includes all the hilarity and awkward struggles of trying to fit in during high school for a second time, along with the extra layer of complication of having the mob hot on your trail. Hiding Out did not fare well with critics, but it has since found a cult following with fans who truly appreciate this underrated action-filled teen flick. You don't get a nose like this breaking stocks. Number 7. My Bodyguard That's how I came up with this idea. What idea? Oh, to pay you to be my bodyguard. High school bullies have often been at the center of teen flicks, and the 80s had their share of them as well. The school nerd hires his mysterious muscle-bound classmate to protect him from the school bullies, but that's just the start. This dramatic comedy explores deeper issues, such as friendship, confidence, and challenging assumptions, while still offering hilarious hijinks and amusing banter. You know those things will stunt your growth. Despite having a talented director and cast, as well as a thoughtful script and premise, the reception to this movie was mixed upon release, and it pulled in a meager box office. It's a shame that the film went overlooked and underappreciated for the complexities it offered. Moody, I'd like you to meet my bodyguard. Number 6. Teen Witch What teenage girl hasn't at some point wished she could wake up with magical powers? Well, when shy girl Louise turns 16, that is exactly what happens in this coming-of-age teen comedy. The movie is goofy, filled with big hair and rhinestone clothing, and has a now infamous So Bad It's Good rapping scene. Teen Witch didn't even break $30,000 at the US box office when it was released in 1989, but it has found popularity and a cult following since because of its over-the-top cheese and unforgettably catchy tunes. This one totally deserved better, like, for real. I wasn't even looking for it, but it was looking for you. Number 5. Some Kind of Wonderful This has got to be, like, the most hilarious rumor ever floated, right? The 80s had no shortage of teen dramas that included love triangles and one friend pining over another, and this film was no exception. With a talented cast and well-developed characters, this flick was not a typical teen love story. When Watts agrees to help her best friend Keith land the popular girl, despite them both being high school outcasts and being in love with him herself, they all soon learn lessons about life, love, and popularity. You can't touch a book by its cover. Yeah, but you can tell how much it's gonna cost. Many critics cited the film as cynical, lacking the bubbly feel of the genre, while others appreciated the off-canon approach. 
This film has grown in popularity since release and is now considered by many to be one of the best 80s teen flicks that went completely underappreciated in its time. Break his heart and break your face. Number 4. Real Genius First thing you should do is get even with Kent. It's a moral imperative. Val Kilmer starred in this zany and quirky comedy that is part Revenge of the Nerds and part War Games, with less familiarity. When a group of super smart college nerds, including a newly recruited 15-year-old genius, realize they've been pulled together to help create a military weapon, they rebel in the most hilarious ways possible. Despite decent reviews, this flick was passed up by many at the box office for other 1985 hits like The Goonies and Back to the Future, leaving it as a relatively unknown 80s teen movie that deserves so much more appreciation than it received. Besides, in what other movie can you hear the line, All brain, no penis? <laughs> Number 3. River's Edge I saw you this morning. Yeah? Perhaps the darkest film on our list, this 80s teen drama revolved around the bonds of friendship and the price of secrets. Based on a true story of the murder of a teenage girl at the hand of her boyfriend, this flick boasted a brilliant cast, including Keanu Reeves, Crispin Glover, and Dennis Hopper. In some ways, it's easy to see why this movie had a relatively small box office draw and how it went overlooked by many filmgoers. It's serious in intent and quite disturbing, but for those who love 80s teen cinema, the movie is a must-see that deserved so much more recognition than it received. I killed her. You're strange, Sean. What'd you do, man? Sit on her? <laughs> Number 2. Can't Buy Me Love hey, You're a hard worker. Work's not really my thing. The teen film genre will always have a soft spot for a nerd trying to land the popular girl or boy. And this flick is the perfect example of what happens when this trope is done well. Before he became Dr. McDreamy, Patrick Dempsey often starred as the quintessential nerd, and this was arguably one of his best portrayals of that role. The movie did not do well with critics, with Roger Ebert giving the movie half a star and other reviews panning it as unoriginal and lazy. However, in the years since its release, fans have found appreciation in its simplicity. And let's not forget the iconic riding off into the sunset on a lawnmower moment that an 80s fan pretty much knows by heart. Okay, how about kissing? Yeah, it's important. That's a must. Definitely. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. We just got lapped by an old lady with a walker. You see that space between those two cars? Yeah. You mean parallel park? Shoot, that's my weak spot. I... Listen to her. What is, what is tomorrow? Monday night's pretty slow, Jeff. Yeah. I'd like to invite you to our house for dinner. You, you would? would? Charlie, I got my wish. I'm 18 again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Easy, Charlie. Best I could do short notice. It's great. This is what you do second best. I'd love to see you play basketball. Number one, Better Off Dead. Is he telling you what a great lover he is? She only speaks French, Roy. She doesn't speak imbecile. It'd almost be impossible to have a list of 80s teen flicks and not mention a John Cusack film. In this film, his character Lane, an awkward teen, becomes suicidal after his girlfriend breaks up with him for a better skier. After several botched attempts to end his life, he meets a beautiful French exchange student who's living next door who challenges him to improve his life, take chances, and find love again. Throughout his journey, Lane participates in a car race, gets stalked by the paperboy, and has the ski experience of a lifetime. Did we mention the random animated scenes that include a dancing, singing, guitar-playing hamburger? This movie is offbeat, comically dark, brilliantly complex, and well worth rediscovering. You look pretty stupid to me. Thank you. Man, what is it about 80s movies? They are like totally tubular. <laughs> anyway, what's your favorite underrated 80s teen movie? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out this other video.